please click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for watching more update videos thank you, thank you. so in this example i'm going to teach you guys about method of joint it's one of the methods we can use for solving truss problem statics so in this example we have seven joints one two three four five six seven and we have 11 members which is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so before we solve this truss we should find out that our truss is statically determinant or not so we have a formula to find out that our truss is statically determinant or not so the formula is equal is 2j is equal m plus r where j is the joints number of joints m is the members r is the reactions so i have two times number of joints which i said i have seven joints it should be equal to i have 11 members plus i have two reactions two plus one three reactions so 2 times 7, which is 14, is equal to 11 plus 3 is 14. So which means our truss S is statically determinant. So now I'm going to solve the reactions first. Let's take summation of Fx, which is equal to 0. So I have HA plus 5 which is acting at the same direction plus 10 is equal 0 so my HA will be equal to minus 15 kilonewton the next step I'm going to find out the reactions at y direction so summation of Fy is equal 0 I have VA plus VF is equal to 20 kilonewton plus 15 kilonewton so my VA plus VF is equal to 35 kilonewton so now I'm going to find out the reactions at point A and the reactions at point D so now I'm going to take a moment so I'm going to take a moment at point A, which is equal to 0. So I have Vf times the distance is 4 meter, which is equal to 5 times the distance is 2 meter plus 10 times the distance is also 2 meter plus 15 times the distance is 8 meter 4 plus 4 is 8 meter and plus 20 where the distance is 2 meter so now for vf is equal to 5 times 2 is 10 plus 10 times 2 is 20 plus 15 times 8 15 times 8 is 120 plus 20 times 2 which is 40 so for vf is equal to 120 plus 40 plus 20 plus 10 which is equal to 190 so both sides divided by 4 so my VF will be equal to 190 divided by 4 go to 47 point 47.5 kilo Newton so I found out the value of VF which is 47.5 so now I'm going to find out the value of my VA so as I mentioned here, my VA plus VF is equal to 35 kilonewton. So what I do now, 
So my VA will be equal to now. So VA will be equal to 47. So 35 minus 47.5, which is equal to minus 12.5 kilonewton. This extension is positive. Then compression negative. C O M P R E. Compression. So now I have found out the value of my VA and VF. So next step, I'm going to calculate the members. At point A, I can't calculate because I have three unknowns. I have AG, AB, and AC. As we have three unknowns. Therefore, we can't calculate it. So now I'm going to start at point E, which I have three, two unknowns. I have F, EF and ED. So to announce, you can find the values and then you can go step by step. So first I'm going to solve the members at joint E. So I have summation of Fx, which is equal zero. I have minus Fe minus minus ed cosine of theta which is equal to zero so first outcome let's find the value of my theta so i know the distance is two meter so the distance is a what is the distance from e to f the distance is four meter and the this distance is 2 meter. So tan, the tan of theta will be equal to, tan is equal to opposite of adjacent. So opposite uh, 2 over 4. So tan will be equal to 2 over 4. The tan will be equal to inverse tan of 2 over 4, which is equal to 26.57 degrees. And this is my angle. So now, minus Fe minus Ed cosine of 26.57 degrees which is equal to zero. And then take the summation of Fy, which is equal to zero. So I have minus 15 kilonewton, it's kilo, kilonewton, plus Ed sine of 26.57, which is equal to zero. So now first I'm going to find out the value of my Ed. So the ED will be equal to positive 15 divided by sine of 26.57. My ED will be equal to 15 divided by sine of 26.57. That will be equal to 33.54 kilonewton, which is tension. In the next step, I'm going to find out the value of my Fe or EF. So my Fe will be equal to minus Ed cosine of 26.57. So my Fe will be equal to minus 33.54 cosine of 26.57 Fe will be 33.54 cosine of 26.57 that will be equal to 29.99 so I'm taking as, as a 30 kilo newton minus 30 kilo newton so it's a compression compression so next step, I'm going to find, 
So now I'm going to solve the members at joint F. So I know the value of my VF. So which was 41.5, 41.5, Kilo Newton. So now, take summation of fx first, which is equal to zero. So ef minus eg minus fg that will be equal equal zero. Yes. So take summation of fy is equal to zero. So I have vf, which is. 41.5 kN plus FD that will be equal to 0. So now my FD first I'm going to find out the value of my FD then I can find my the value of FG. Okay. So FD will be equal to minus 41.5 kN. This my this is the value of my FD. So FE, which I know the value of my FE, which is so FE will be equal to FG. So I know the value of my FE, which was minus thirty. Kilonewton is equal to Fg. So my Fg will be equal to minus 30 kilonewton. That's a compression also. And that's compression as well. So I have found out the value of my FD, which is minus 41.5 kN, and the value of my FG, which is minus 30 kN. So the both is compression. So now I'm going to solve the members at joint D. So I know my alpha, which is 26.6 degrees, and my node, my theta is 45 degrees. So you know how to find the angle, it's very simple. First step, I'm going to take summation of fx which is equal to 0. So I have plus 15 kilonewton minus dc plus de cosine of 26.6 minus dg cosine of 45 degrees and that will be equal to 0. So next step take summation of Fy which is equal to 0. So I have minus DE sine of 26.6 minus DG sine of 45 degrees and minus df which is equal to 0 so first i'm going to find out the value of my dg and then i'm going to find out the value of cd so the dg will be equal to that will be if i move it that side so that will be equal to minus de sine of 26. 6 minus df total divided by sine 45 degrees. So the dg that will be equal to minus de. So I know the value of my de. So the value of my de is 33.54 kilonewton. So minus 33.54. 4 sine of 26.6 point, 26 and minus, I know the value of my df as well. So the value of my df is minus 41.5. So it's minus minus will be positive. 
so 47.5 kN 47.5 kN divided by sine of 45 degrees so my dg that will be equal to so minus 33.54 sine of 26.6 plus 47.5 divided by sine of 45 degrees and that will be equal to 45.94 kilo newton and that's attention that is a tension so now i'm going to find out the value of my dc so the dc will be equal to I move it to that side so it became positive so dc will be equal to 15 plus de so the value of my de was so the value of my de was 33.54 3.54 cosine of 26.6 .6 minus dg which I have the, which I have found already so minus 45.94 cosine of 45 degrees so dc will be equal to 15 plus 33.51 33.54 cosine of 26.6 and that will be equal to 30 minus 45.94 cosine of 45 degrees that will be equal to 32.48 so my dc will be equal to 32.48 so 15 plus 30 minus 32.48 that will be equal to 12.52 kilonewton. That's tension as well.